Welcome back, fellow marketers. You're listening to the BBLM Marketing Podcast, where we dive deep into the strategies and successes of local businesses. I'm Bailey. Hi guys, I'm Brooke, and today we're gonna be discussing the social media game of Sip Soda, a custom soda shop serving up fizzy concoctions in Columbia, Missouri. Joining us are the second half of our team, Lucas and Maddie. Hey everyone. Excited to be here. So let's start with a quick rundown of Sip Sodas. They're all about customizing your soda experience from the base to the flavorings. They opened their doors in March, 2023, and they've been serving sodas at their shop and different local events ever since. Absolutely. And not only do they craft these unique drinks, but they also offer events and catering services, making them a hit at gatherings around the Columbia area. Plus, they've got a vast menu with signature drinks like the M.I.Z. Dew and Peach Cheeks, along with a build your own option. Oh, and don't forget about the cookies and pretzels. Oh, and they're all about the community with plans to extend their reach beyond their one location. So what's their social media game stacking up? Sips has built a solid online presence with a website that's as picturesque as their sodas. They've got taps for everything from their menu to events and catering, giving customers a full taste of their offerings. And on the socials, they create some great content. From Facebook to TikTok, they're creating an audience but there's always room for improvement, right? Totally. Their engagement definitely could use a boost, especially on Facebook. With over 700 likes, but minimal interaction, there's an opportunity to spark more conversations there. And let's talk about their posts. While they're informative, they could sprinkle in some more details like prices and sizes to make it easier for customers to dive in. Now, diving into their strengths, Sips has nailed it with their customizable menu and friendly staff. And with affordable prices, they're brewing up a loyal following. But they're not without their weaknesses. With just one location, they're missing out on potential customers who can't conveniently swing by. Plus, their SEO game could use some attention to bubble up in search results. And don't forget about the opportunities. With events, loyalty programs, and new products on the horizon, there's plenty of room for growth. True, but they've also got to watch out for the competition. With coffee shops and health trends on the rise, they've got to maintain relevance. When it comes to Facebook, Sips is posting on the platform, but their engagement needs a kick. Let's get those conversations flowing. Now, Instagram is where they're really shining. With visually appealing posts and a growing following, keep that feed fresh. And on TikTok, they're making fun, behind-the-scenes content. They could post more on this platform, though, and even consider cross-posting some of their Instagram reels. And let's not forget Google where they need to focus on ranking for search results, improving that SEO game through targeted keywords and working with local Columbia Press to drive web traffic and establish credibility. For the social zones, Sips is rocking the social community. With reposts and engagement, Sips is building community. And when it comes to social publishing, they're serving up engaging content. Keep those posts flowing, Sips. Plus, they're bringing the entertainment with fun drink names and behind-the-scenes videos. We love the Sips brand personality they are building. But there's always room to explore the social commerce zone through discount codes and online ordering. However, they are using Peso Drive Media to drive awareness of Sips in Columbia. That's right. Sips is leveraging paid, earned, shared, and owned media to keep the mix just right. And speaking of success, let's talk about what Sips should be brewing up next. Okay, so first up, we need more video content. With TikTok and Instagram Reels on the rise, it's time to hop on the video train. Staring at the blank page before you open up the dirty window. Let the sun illuminate the words that you cannot find. And how about a loyalty program? Punch cards, routine discounts, and even an app could keep those customers coming back for more. And don't forget about catering. With better digital content and event advertising, they'll be the life of the party. And last but not least, let's make some connections in the community. From public events to catering gigs, Sips can be everywhere community flows. Well, that's a wrap on today's mini podcast. Thanks for tuning in as we dissected social media strategy of Sips Soda. And remember, fellow marketers, there's always room to grow, innovate, and support local businesses. We will close out with a quick joke. Why did the soda shop's social media strategy fizz out? I don't know. Why? Because it didn't pop with engagement. (laughs) That's a good one, baby. (laughs) And we will make sure that doesn't happen. 
Until next time, we'll catch you on the next episode of Marketing with BBLM. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>